Hello, ladies, today. Uh, do you like my hair today? Oh, let me show her here. April 1st, our water level. For today, it's still high, but it's crystal clear. Today, everything is set. And today, the most important, I do have a dive computer. So, I don't have to use my brains. What I have to do, swim underwater. That's it. And computer shows me everything. Ah, uh, well, before I dive, I have to press some buttons. I'll let you know, I always set my computer in a free diving mode. Ah, uh, it's went to normal again. Folks, I tell you the truth, I hate these computers. I use my brains always. For that reason, I have my watch. Okay, all lights on. And today I have three extra. One on my arm and one on the tongue. So that's only one. Must clean. I have the dive plug. Ten minutes in the cave. Then, first stage of kickoff in a west tunnel. It is very important for me to pronounce a dive plan. And surely it's very easy to start from a table, because I could mount my monofin easy. And that way, sand does not get into monofin pockets. Switching lights on a tank and ready to go. And it is very hard for me to swim in shallow water because I cannot do my full monofin stroke. But anyway, I'm moving somehow. Bypassing old stump. Approaching platform on a five meters deep, throwing my pole with a camera, and here I'm doing my test lap to test all my gear. Everything is tested and works fine. And now I'm swimming to a tree log. Three log at this time, about eight meters deep. Here in a crater, I do have flow of water from a deep cave. And when crater gets narrower, we call it chimney. And it looks really like a very narrow pipe, you see it right now. It's not a problem for me to swim. But I have to push my pole with a camera forward. Just folks, try to get a broom and stick on a 45 miles out of your car window and I will see how you operate your broom. Okay, now pole is inside of a big room and I'm ready to throw my spear forward. It is very nicely glides to a bottom of a big room, what is 26 meters deep. And now it is time to play music and allocate my lights in a good position. in position and now I am doing my test lap inside of a big room approximately on a 22 meters deep and then exiting to a crater and you turning on about 
12 to 10 meters deep. I always tried to stay as less as I could in a deep water. approximately less than a minute to do the whole last around route. Now I'm taking pole and going to another side of the room and you will see how big room is. Another side of the room or south side of a room we call sand dune. near wall and now I'm going out to a west tunnel. I'm leaving my lights inside of the room so you will see my complete swim out. Here on an exit my camera beam got hooked on a, some kind of the rock. You see it right now, right now, yes. But that is not a problem. I just stop for a second and continue my swim. And swimming out, it's very easy because I follow current out. You turn in camera with a pole on end of a west tunnel. And now I have to return to a big room for my lights. It took me approximately a minute and a half. Collect all lights from the bottom of a room and return back. Surely I cut a part of that video. Placing lights inside of a west tunnel and placing tank and start my practice with a free diving, breathing air from air pocket. After a minute or two of the breathing, I'm doing my first lap around the crater. Surely I increase the speed to save on your time. Now collecting lights and switching back, breathing from a tank. After about total five to six minutes spent in a west tunnel on a depth of 10 meters deep, I am going to a main basin for a second stage decompression lapse. It is easy for me to drop a pole and you turn myself instead of dragging pole for a long, long lap. Here I decided to swim under log. Dropping camera on a scuba platform what is about 5 meters deep and going to do my swimming laps in the shallow water all around basin. It took me about 15 to 20 minutes long. A 
And here, I would like you to pay attention. Look at that. It's mermaid. Or oh, it's a girl. Try to be on my camera. I am bypassing right now floating dock. Dropping camera on the north side of a crater and making couple laps around. Surely when cameras lays on the bottom, I could double or even triple my speed of a video. But when I'm swimming with the camera, I decrease the speed of the video, so it looks less fast. My last swim around main basin and it is about time to surface and surely pick up lights and a camera. And you see tank is positive when it's out of air, but when I feel that it's going out of air, I have approximately 10 breeze in and out. So that gives me time safely return to a surface. Today no violation of Tico, but surely always speeding up.